All right, this is just a real simple circuit. Um, it, it looks just like the, uh, the board. You got your positive on your tool, it's just on the tool side. And you got your negative on here, positive, negative. And then you solder a resistor, 15K ohm, uh, between the third lug or the one next to the uh, negative. Series to your negative lug. And then you also do 10K from the same negative lug over to what I call the third one, which, or the one next to the positive. Um, this is the typical one, and this is the, the new addition. So you're literally just putting two resistors. You put both tails to the negative, uh, 15 to the one next to the negative, and uh, the 10K to the one next to the positive. And a little note, there's no connection between the uh, tool and the battery between these. So if there's any connect, if you're going to modify a tool, uh, I'm able to do that next video. You actually uh, sever the connections, or you can literally just take the. This is like on, uh, I showed on the video. All there is is a positive and a negative. There's no uh, there's no other posts on the uh, battery side. And I've I've taken care of that by just taking a pair of pliers and snapping off the posts on the tool, the sander nut, namely, and uh, it works just fine with just the positive and negative, uh, and then. No other two, no, no other posts needed on the on the tool. So you can literally just wiggle them, snap them off. That'll that, that, that'll that'll take them right out of the equation. Or you could maybe get fancy and try to unsolder them and such. But they have to be connected from here. It goes into the uh, electronics of the tool. So this needs to be on the tool side only, obviously. So uh, hope that's as clear as mud.